This is a story of justice. Justice which is not served in the courts, but justice that runs in the streets. Justice which does not consider facts and evidences. This is the story of Samri Justice. In the corrupt streets of Azamgarh, flagrantly breaking the law was the norm of the day. The city was ruled by the rowdy Vidant Prabhu, a criminal who masqueraded as a politician. The equally notorious right hand of Vidant Prabhu was Uday Raja, a rogue of the streets of Azamgarh, who managed all of Vidant's shady businesses. The most despicable business of all being that of human trafficking. However, a ray of hope was still alive as honest inspectors like Trishan and Diya displayed utmost courage in putting goons like Uday and Vedant Prabhu behind bars. नमस्कार उपम नमस्कार नमस्कार हाउ इज एवरीथिंग एट होम हम उपम एज लॉन्ग एज योर हैंड इज ऑन माय हेड नथिंग कैन गो रॉन्ग हम नाइस बट व्हाट अबाउट द टास्क आई गेव यू हैज द कंसाइनमेंट ऑफ 50 सब्जेक्ट्स रीच साउदी सेफली इज देयर समथिंग आई शुड बी वरीड अबाउट उपम वी एनकाउंटर्ड अ प्रॉब्लम लास्ट नाइट Trishan and Dia raided the warehouse at 1 a.m. Hukum, four of our men were killed in the shootout, and two of them were arrested. Also, the girls managed to escape. What? 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 How? How could you let this happen? You just cost me fifty million riyals. How will I explain this to my business partners? And what about the men who got arrested? Can they be trusted? Will they keep their mouths shut? My name should not be associated with this case. Got it? Hukum, the men are trustworthy. Hukum, they would even die for you. But Hukum, we have to do something about Trishan and Dia. Hmm. This is your chance to make it up to me. Trishan has a weak spot. His younger brother Shashank. Summon your men. Ask them to spread the rumor that Shashank is involved in human trafficking, and he is behind the recent disappearances of children from the city. Get him lynched. Ji hukum, ji hukum, hukum. I take full responsibility of this, hukum. But I will, and I make sure that I make it up to you. That should teach Trishan a lesson. <laughs> Hello. Hello sir. Yes, how are you? I'm fine sir. I'm on the field right now. Now that we are halfway through with the investigation and have arrested four mafia men, we need to figure out a plan of action to prove that the tip off that we received was accurate and can be trusted. Sure sir. I can understand our concern as this is a very big case. I can confirm you that whatever we have is from the reliable sources. Yeah, sir, I think something is fishy going on, and the prime suspect is Vedant. I'm not sure that Vedant is our prime suspect. Still, let's get an uh, arrest warrant issued, and we'll figure out the rest later. But let's not go ahead with the arrest straight away. Got it, sir. Yeah, I will not straight away arrest him. We need proof beyond reasonable doubt. At the end of the day, we have a law to follow. 
Yeah, I will report you to the police station. All right, I'll meet you at the police station. Bye bye. Bye. Sir. Hey, how are you? Hey, 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 Trishan, bro. What's up? What's up? What's up? Hi. <laughs> Hi, I'm good. How are you? Uh, How's I'm, your preparation I'm, for university going? Fine, you can see. Like I'm studying so well right now. I've never studied yeah, more than my life. Yeah. <laughs> you better not get mixed up with all those party animals, otherwise you'll start flunking all your classes. Party? <laughs> what? You know me. I'm a total nerd. I don't know what party means. No. Yeah. Uh-huh. What are you working on? You seem a bit stressed. What's up? Um, I have a lot of work going on. There's this case that's keeping me really busy. Mm-hmm. So apart from that, there's really nothing much going on because that's taking up all my time. Oh, all right, all right. What's the case? Share the tea, bro. You know, you know, you know how interested I am in your endeavors. <sighs> I know you are, and you always somehow make me talk about all my cases. But uh, remember, it's confidential, so keep your lips zipped, and you can't tell anyone. Definitely, definitely, yeah. Okay, so there's just this, um, there's just this uh, politician that's involved, and some of his goons. So we uh, had a shootout with them and caught some of their men, but. Um, That means that we are getting close, but we haven't really got enough proof to identify who is in charge of the entire operation, so that we can actually put them behind bars. Yeah, I mean, it is you. You must have some suspicion on someone, right? You must have some clues here. Yeah. That politician Vidant Prabhu, him, uh, we suspect him, but there's not enough proof to be sure. Yeah, yeah, I know him. Cool person. Yeah. Anyways, um, I got to go. I got to run. Um, I have some work to do. It was good uh, catching up on you. Please <laughs> take charge of uh, all college work that you have to do and uh, be focused on that. Hundred percent focus on that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know me. I love academics. I'm going to college for academics, not party. Yeah. Yet. Okay. Yeah. All right. Bye. 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 Smile. Activate the network. Spread the news on social media that Ashesha Hank was indulged in human trafficking. It is Bukam Ji's order. Get it done by evening. Look 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 he's the one he's the one involved in human trafficking come on him. let's Catch teach him. him a lesson help help Ha ha ha!
हेलो वॉट हेलो हेलो Good evening. Good evening. <sighs> I have news for you, Trishan. Your brother's death wasn't solely just the mafia's responsibility. From what I have got to know, the mafia boss is the right-hand man of that MP Vedant. <sighs> And it is very, very likely that they were acting under Vedant's orders. We must take revenge. We must avenge my brother's death, and that can only be done by crushing them and making them suffer. Listen, don't worry, Trishan. Your brother, he will definitely get justice, and those culprits will not get away scot-free. The information I shared earlier will certainly be. I don't have time for slow courts and corrupt politicians to decide what justice is. It's time. That it matters into my own hands. I can understand what you're going through right now, Trishan, and your brother. He deserves justice, and those rogues should be put behind bars. I have received some information from an anonymous source, and I'm very sure that you'll find this information very useful. Hmm. I've got the drive now. But what to do with the juicy information on that crooked Tampi Vedant? I got an idea. I'll just give this to Karnab Goswami. He's the man for the perfect job, and I'll enjoy the bombshell that will rock the nation. <laughs> And at last, I'll be able to sleep after that terrible drubbing from Vedant last election. This is very confidential. Deliver it safely to the citrus. Yes, ma'am. we see justice we see the travesty of justice but today dear viewers we at banana republic tv are the first channel to bring to you the biggest breaking news yet in the azamgarh mob lynching incident so welcome ladies and gentlemen to the news our debate at 9 pm with karnan goswami where we will uncover the ugly truth of the charismatic mp vedant prabhu that's right we bring to you this year's most exclusive explosive expose of the dirty and questionable businesses of this so called people's representative joining us in this debate tonight are satya samaj party speaker anurag singh and renowned actress and social activist vartika gautam welcome panelists namaskar namaskar I am honored to be the part of this engaging dialogue with such an large and life personality, Mr. Karna Goswami. The Azamgur lynching was very unfortunate to hear of. I am surprised that the government has not taken any step towards securing the justice for the unfortunate soul. 
I say that the perpetrators be severely punished for this merciless act. How dare you imply that the government is sitting idle? Did you know that the boy had a hand in his own lynching? He was involved in pretty major crimes. He tried to double cross the mafia boss and misappropriate the funds. What are you saying, Mr. Singh? How can you say he had a hand in his own lynching? Can you even hear what you're saying? An MP of your own party has been caught red-handed on national television, plotting this entire conspiracy with his henchmen, and you have the guts to lie to all of us that he, the victim, was responsible for all this. Viewers, we have shown it to you right here that it was MP Vedant Prabhu who was behind this entire incident, wasn't it? Tell us, Mr. Singh. The nation wants to know. Viewers, we seem to have lost Mr. Singh for a moment. Till he's back, we'll be taking a short break. Don't go anywhere. The government of India has taken up the initiative to nurture and protect cows. The Ministry of Animal Husbandry, in this regard, has rolled out the Gai Pashu Palan Yojana, and under this scheme, the government has created a fund of rupees 500 crores for cow fodder, and the ministry has taken the initiative to mobilize the general public to voluntarily assist the ministry in feeding of cows. is our mother and feeding her is our responsibility issued in public interest by the government of india welcome back viewers you are watching the news hour debate at 9 with karna goswami joining us back in conversation is Satya Samaj Party speaker on Rajak Singh who's going to tell us how and why an MP of his party is the main culprit behind what has been the costliest mob lynching in the history of this republic on to you mr singh my party members are straightforward and honest this is a baseless allegation and not expected from someone of this stature if you defame mp prabhuji you are defaming all of us i will never accept your statements How smart of you to make such a statement! It's not like you're a god of virtue yourself. You have done crores of rupees worth of money laundering scam over the past twenty years. Let me speak, Mr. Let me speak, Mr. Singh. Mr. Singh, please let her finish. Do not interrupt. Wait for your turn, Mr. Singh. Yes, Vartika, please go on. Vidhan doesn't deserve any chance to present the people. He'll use his power to fill his own nest with the help of people like you. He has to resign. He has to resign. How dare you besmirch my reputation? He has to resign, Mr. Singh. How dare you make allegations about him? He has to resign, Mr. Singh. What, what do you mean your reputation? This isn't about you. This is about the entire country. Exactly. You are accountable and answerable to. The, where Where do you think you're going? See for yourself, dear viewers, how our very own leaders walk out in the middle of a debate, shying away from all their responsibility and accountability. This proves their guilt of involvement in these crimes. and how they duped the very people of this country who voted for them the breakthrough journalism and path breaking coverage of this incident by banana republic tv has led to the demand for vedant prabhu's resignation grow higher than ever before we are in this fight for true justice and we will not back down till true justice is rendered that's all from us tonight here at banana republic tv we'll be back again tomorrow same place same time so don't forget to tune in again to the news hour debate at 9 with karnav goswami where we will bring to you more from this unfolding saga till then good night stay safe everyone i am anshpreet singh choudhary reporter for the banana republic tv i have been shooting outside mp vedant prabhu's house 
this is the scene after he has resigned from his post after the revelation of his involvement in heinous crimes such as human trafficking of 50 innocent girls and mob lynching of a young guy was revealed to the public a video will be shown to your screens now in which mr prabhu can be seen returning from the party headquarters सर सर As you could see in the video the embarrassment on the face of Mr Prabhu this is the justice that the people of our country deserve justice has been served if we would not do it no one else would have our channel exposes the true face of politicians like Vedant Prabhu we at the Banana Republic TV will continue with our fair true and objective journalism and serve the interests of the country this is reporter Anshpreet Singh Chaudhary with cameraman Meer Shah for the Banana Republic TV Ladies and gentlemen what we've just witnessed are perhaps some of the most barbaric instances of summary justice despite having known of its existence for a very long time we still refuse to acknowledge the unpleasant reality by limiting our thought process adding in our own two cents for a few minutes and then continue to go through our daily newspapers and scroll through social media Through this movie we attempt to bring about a change in the don't careish mindset. In a civilized society, justice ought to be delivered by the courts, not by the lay people on the streets. It ought to be based on reason, not on the whims and fancies of a few. Most importantly, it ought to be fair, not fast. Summary justice goes against the sacrosanct tenets of legal rational and constitutional values. We have seen it happen in many forms and most notably the journalist who acts as the judge and jury and scorns their target on national television or for that matter the local good for nothing politician who for his own political and personal vendetta orders a frenzied mob lynching with neither the lynchers nor the public verifying the facts but just relying on rumors recognizing these acts and calling them out for what they are was our attempt to raise awareness on this serious issue and inspire a change in people's thinking so as to be able to better let justice be rendered through legitimate sources thank you for being here with us and patiently watching the whole movie thank you